believe it or not, we are over halfway through the storyline in the overall season here in Fortnite Season 9, as we are now headed into Week 6 of the weekly challenges and the season as a whole. And while time has flown by so far, it is definitely not going to be slowing down much as we head into the second part of Season 9, which is really going to ramp up the storyline and the excitement levels, as you, me, and everyone else in the world of Fortnite are going to see some insane events take place as the season comes to a close. But for now, with a new week of Battle Royale, we of course have a new set of weekly challenges that have leaked early. And we're here today bringing you guys the latest intel regarding the Season 9 Week 6 challenges. What's up guys, and welcome back to the Simply Fortnite channel, and thanks for stopping by. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turned on, and if you enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like rating on it as it would be much appreciated. And now without further ado, let's take a look at the newly leaked Week 6 challenges and how to complete each one of them in the best and most efficient ways possible. As always, to preface the leaked challenges, since they are in fact leaked content and data mined directly from the in-game files, until the challenges officially go live on Thursday, it is very possible that one or two of the challenges end up changing or getting updated. So with that said, it is always a good idea to go ahead and double check the challenges on Thursday when they officially go live. Aside from that, per usual, this week we have 7 challenges in total, 3 hard ones and 4 regular ones, with the hard ones being worth 10 battle stars and the regular ones being worth 5 battle stars. And if you end up completing 4 out of these 7 challenges this week, you'll actually end up getting a nice 6000 XP bonus, which is a slight upgrade from the previous 5000 XP bonus that we've seen over the course of the past few weeks. In addition to that, in the coming weeks, you'll actually be able to earn 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, and then 10,000 XP bonuses in weeks 7, 8, 9, and 10 respectively, so definitely get those four challenges knocked out at the bare minimum each and every week, that way you can capitalize on some easy extra XP. Anyways, on to the challenges for this week, starting off with challenge number one, which is going to be a staged challenge. So keep in mind, you cannot complete more than one stage in a match, and you must complete the stages in the order that they are presented. That said, stage one is going to be land at Lucky Landing, stage two is going to be land at Loot Lake, stage three is going to be land at Shifty Shafts, stage four is land at Frosty Flights, and stage five is land at Haunted Hills. Now this challenge is about as easy as it gets, literally all you have to do is land at these locations, nothing more than that. So of course the easiest way to complete this one is to just simply land at these areas immediately after jumping out of the battle bus. But if you want you don't have to necessarily do that, because as long as you land at these locations with your glider out, either from a glider redeploy or a rift to go, or just off the battle bus itself, it will count as you landing at whatever location you need to land at for that particular stage. Moving on, challenge number 2 this week is going to be deal damage with submachine guns to opponents, and for this challenge you will need to deal a total of 500 damage. Now this one is going to be pretty basic as well, SMGs are literally all over the place it seems, especially with the new burst SMG, the sub meta is pretty strong right now if you ask me, and 500 damage in total really is not too bad either. For this one though, by far the easiest way to complete the challenge in a timely manner is to just go ahead and jump into Team Rumble, since getting a ton of damage is incredibly incredibly easy there, since you can just keep respawning with your SMG over and over and over again, until you end up getting that 500 damage completed. So all around, this one really shouldn't be too difficult to complete either. Challenge number 3 here in week 6 of season 9 is going to be yet another staged challenge, so same deal as before, you cannot complete more than one stage per match. That said, stage 1 is going to be search chests at a hotspot, of course the hotspots are the areas on the map with the golden name, where you'll also end up finding various loot carriers floating around as well. Stage 2 is going to be search ammo boxes at a hotspot, and then stage 3, the final stage sticking to the theme of the hotspots, is going to be get an elimination at a hotspot. Now for stage 1 you'll need to end up searching 3 chests, for stage 2 you'll end up having to search 3 ammo boxes, and then for stage 3 you'll need to get just 1 elimination. Now this one is probably going to end up being one of the harder challenges this week, as stages 1 and 2 are going to be a bit more difficult to achieve since a ton of players are going to be landing at the hot spots to begin with. So for those chests and ammo boxes, really those are going to have to be your top priority, and it'll definitely help knowing the various chest and ammo box spawns, and once you have a route down for any given hotspot, really just rinse and repeat as often as you can. In all honesty though, I would expect this challenge to be a bit more agitating than the rest this week. 
Continuing on though, challenge number four this week is going to be deal damage to a vehicle driven by an opponent. And for this one, you will need to deal a total of 200 damage to complete the challenge. Now, this one is definitely very situational as it does rely on you finding someone driving a vehicle. But luckily for us, ballers are a vehicle and they spawn like crazy around Neo Tilted within the slipstream. So that would definitely be my recommended drop location. After you land, find a weapon and just wait for someone to jump into a baller and then spray away. 200 damage really isn't all that much and really shouldn't take you too long. Oh, and uh, once again, Team Rumble is probably going to be a huge help here as well. Challenge number five this week is going to be use a storm flip in different matches. And for this one, you will need to end up using a storm flip in three separate matches to complete the challenge. Now, by and large, the easiest way to complete this challenge fast is just to simply find a storm flip. Of course, that is all up to chance. But once you do, just throw it immediately, regardless of whether or not there are players nearby. That way, you can just earn some progress towards the overall challenge. Note that this challenge does not require you to deal any damage with the storm flip, you simply just have to throw it. So really, the hardest part about this challenge is just going to be simply finding the storm flips to begin with. But other than that, this one really is not too bad. Moving on, challenge number 6 this week is going to be use different vehicles in a single match. And for this one, you'll need to end up using two different vehicles within just one game. Now I think for this one, one of the easiest ways to complete it is going to be just to land at Stunt Mountain just outside of Pleasant Park, because at the very top of that mountain, there's always a few driftboard spawns, so that is immediately one vehicle down and out of the way, and sometimes there is also a quad crasher that spawns up there as well. So if you end up getting lucky, you can actually complete this challenge entirely in just that one spot. But if you don't end up finding the quad crasher spawn, simply just jump onto one of those drift boards and glide on over to a nearby expedition outpost because ballers spawn there and that of course counts as a vehicle as well. So that's two vehicles down, which is all you need for the challenge pretty quickly. Finally, challenge number seven here in week six of season nine is going to be eliminate opponents in the block or fatal fields. And in total, you will need to eliminate three opponents to complete this one. Now this one really is not too hard, but it does more so depend on skill compared to some of the other challenges we have here this week. So really just know your limits and choose whatever spot you are the most comfortable with landing at. I'd say the block is probably going to be a bit more active since it is ever changing, but Fatal Fields does have more predictable chest spawns, so really just take that as you will. Either way though, three eliminations really is not too bad, and of course, as always, you do not have to do this in just one match, and you can flip-flop in between both of these locations for the challenge, meaning you can essentially get two kills at the block, then one at Fatal Fields, and you'll be just fine, you'll have the entire challenge complete. And there you guys have it. Those are all of the Season 9 Week 6 challenges here in Fortnite Battle Royale, leaked early for you guys alongside the best tips and tricks to complete these challenges in the best and most efficient ways possible. Of course, completing all the weekly challenges week in and week out is definitely beneficial for a handful of reasons. As I mentioned earlier, when you end up completing four out of the seven challenges each week, you end up getting some pretty significant XP bonuses. And of course, by just simply completing the challenges themselves, you are gaining additional battle stars to help progress through your battle pass and unlock new tiers. So that is definitely a win-win there. On top of that, quite a few of the new Fortbite challenges this season tie in directly with the weekly challenges, so if you are going for that Utopia skin later on in the season, you will need to be completing these challenges for that, so you might as well get ahead while you can. Of course, on top of that, you also gain access to the weekly loading screens if you end up completing all the challenges each week, which does help with understanding the storyline and you also get some bonus battle stars for that too. So, all around, the challenges don't really have a negative side to them. They help you level up faster, they help you unlock new tiers and new skin upgrades, and in coordination with the Fortbite challenges, they also help you gain access to the super secret, super rare Utopia skin later on in the season. With that being said, that is effectively going to wrap things up for today. Be sure to let us know down in the comments below what level you are currently at here in Season 9 of Fortnite Battle Royale. Of course, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like on it and give it a big old thumbs up as it would be much appreciated. And if you are brand new here to the Simply Fortnite channel, feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turned on, that way you'll never miss another upload. Of course, by clicking that bell icon and joining the notification squad, every single time we post a new video, YouTube will actually send you a message, that way you can be the first person to watch, like, and comment on each and every new video. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll see you guys on the Battle Bus. Peace out.